Hello, you all. You already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We have getting closer. We got getting closer. We have car problems and love attention. Somebody could be getting closer to someone. Somebody could uh, end up having some sort of car issues, um, car problems. Somebody that loves attention could be seeing some bullshit. Okay. Somebody could be seeing that you're doing better without them. You know, you rocking out, you're doing better. Um, maybe this person, you know, has found an unexpected love for you. This could be somebody who had people all over his penis. But they have an undying love for you. But you could be middle fingers up and living on cloud nine, half life and love. And this could have somebody triggered. You could be being a bad girl. Yeah, all seeing eye, I see everything, bitch. Somebody could be telling you that. Or you could, you know, you could see a lot of things. Yeah, this person look at you as a bad girl. This person could even see you like um, as trouble. This person could be haunted by you. Yeah, you 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 like. Yeah, watch your back, cause this person could feel like fuck you. <laughs> but this is how you could feel though, you know. You know, it could hunt this person that you feel like, you know, fuck you. This person definitely loves attention. This person could have made you believe some sort of lie. Or tried to cast an illusion over you or whatever the case may be. But you put yourself back to together again afterwards. And this person could be, you know, this person could have seen you do that. So let's see what we need to know here. What's uh, getting closer? This person could want to get closer to you. There could be some type of car troubles or, um, you know, car issues. We got the Knight of Pentacles. So this person could be like persistent and trying to slowly, like they be impatient with something, but they want to get closer to you with the Knight of Pentacles. This person want to get closer to you. It could have been an ongoing battle, but this person got some regrets and they could want you back or want you back in their life. Um, this person feels drained. You know, they tired. They want you back. Yeah, this person could have some car troubles here. Maybe their community is helping them. Their family could help them you know, neighbors or something like that, or they may have to take community transportation or something like that. Um, this person could be manifesting for you to call them, you know, manifest for you to reach out, call them, talk to them. Um, they want to be kind to you. Okay. They want to be kind to you, nice to you or whatever. What's love of the attention? This person, this person could have like got a lot of attention all their life or something, or maybe lack thereof. But this person could have felt, you know, lucky, or they could have felt like something by all the attention that they was getting here. But 
something could have ended here with the death card. Something destined could have something could have been destined to end like that with this person, you know, loving and wanting attention so much. Maybe this person has changed. Maybe they don't want attention from the community anymore. This person is like seeking attention from you, like them wanting and loving attention from a lot of people that has changed. It's coming to an end. This person could be a soulmate of yours, possibly too, as well. This person could be on a phone, looking at their phone, seeing some bullshit. This person has been making progress. This person could be seeing some bullshit. Maybe if we got gifts here. This person could be watching you. Um, seeing some bullshit. Maybe this person see you get love and, you know, this person could be seeing you get love. And they just be watching. And they scared of you getting so much love and stuff like that. It's like, for them, that's seeing some bullshit. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, for some of you, you could be um, gifted. We have gifts here. And this person could be watching you speak out or something like that. This person feel, fears. This person feels fear. You could be protecting yourself too as well from people because you could have been lied to backstabbed you don't want to get blocked or cornered or stuck into anything so you protect yourself from enemies or people that you feel are deceitful or try to trick you or try to uh, cheat you in any type of way Yeah, bad girl. Trouble trouble nicknamed you. So you could have had a lot of things to heal from too as well with this Six of Swords energy. This person could look at you like a bad girl. But you you know, you didn't left conflict and hardship behind. You had to overcome a lot of things. Um You could be a bad girl because you know you follow spiritual guidance. You're more focused on your journey and your harmony, you know? You could have ran away. Yeah, towards a new beginning here and you were supported with this Six of Pentacles um, energy. Somebody could have been also trying to, you know, breadcrumb you or give you crumbs. Um somebody wanted you to self-sabotage and accept small offers page of cups somebody wanted you to sabotage yourself but you've been focused on your energy and you know having balance in your life and you defeated you know this energy this person was being deceptive this person could have a crush on you but they was just trying to give you a page of cups offer uh, a page of wands offer you know like small stuff and then this person could have also been dealing with somebody here um this person could have separated from somebody and been unavailable to them two yeah this person could have, uh, you know, received some type of spiritual guidance to back away from somebody. And they did that. They could have separated from somebody. Now you could be this goddess energy and they looking at you loving on yourself and stuff. And they just... Like, they want to decide on whatever contract y'all have between each other. They looking at you as their world, and they trying to, you know, wise plan something or whatever. What's haunting? What's haunted? Maybe this person feels haunted. This person could feel like... 
drawn to you or called to you, like you hunting them or something. Um, maybe there's a lot of talk about you, like a lot of word of mouth too. You can hunt somebody in, you know, different ways. Somebody even could have been trying to come up with a bright idea to try to hunt your ass. No, somebody can even try to hunt you and cause disruption here, a tower. Cause somebody is holding on to you real tight. <laughs> what? This person, um, this person also could be hunted by, you know, the pain and the, the trauma that they could have caused to this person could have caused you some type of trauma or pain. They could be hunted by how they made you feel. But it's, it's some type of. This person could have been unavailable towards you. You could be unavailable at this time. What's the finger? Fuck you. <laughs> you like, fuck you. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's the tower. It was unexpected for you to be like, this person maybe didn't expect you to be like, fuck you. You've been assertive. You like, you've been composed. You've been standing in your strength. Like when you said, fuck you, you meant that shit. You standing on business with this 10 of pentacles for real. You, you like, you really been standing on business. You've been worried about your foundation and stuff like that. You've been elevating and transcending and you had an awakening and you you know who you is and you just sitting in your strength for real. You like, you really like, fuck you. That's really your energy is fuck you. You awaken to who you are. You did some reflection. You cold. You is bad though. You bad. Hell that throw. You focused on yo yo business or you're focused on your money. You're focused on your legacy. Yeah, you call judgment on this person and you just sitting there like the ice queen, like fuck you. And that's the tower. Here we got fireworks. You popping like you like light. And you just like you got boundaries. Yeah, you got boundaries. So you just, yeah, this person made you believe a lie. This person could have act like they ain't fuck with you, but they a groupie. They obsessed. They act like they don't fuck with you, but they obsessed with you. That's the illusion. <laughs> and when this person could have been acting like that towards you, you could have, it could have hurt you. You know, it could have hurt you. You could have regretted that person or whatever the case may be. It could have left you unhappy. You know, this how this person was being negative towards you. This person was trying to burden you and stress you out on purpose. Because this person is obsessed with you. But you put yourself back together after this here. Yeah, you healed. You got healing and you got a victory. Yeah, you enlighten on this man and this man is in despair now and this man feels trapped and in, in, in cornered. You could have a Scorpio, Leo, Pisces in your chart. This masculine could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Pisces, a Leo, a Scorpio. But you put yourself back back together again after this person, you know, moved however they move with you. Yeah, you healed. 
and you just sitting in your strength like fuck you <laughs> somebody healed and was like fuck you <laughs> Hex, nah. Like, you you are, like, assertive. But you're also composed. Like, you may say, you may, you know, say fuck you or whatever the case may be. But you, you are, like, composed. You still, like, chill. This person could have been very shallow towards you. Uh, this person was acting like they wasn't a fan of yours. But this person be lusting after you. They obsessed. They is a fan of yours. And they be stalking what you be doing. Whatever you be doing, they see that. If you don't believe nothing, believe that. Whatever you do, they see it. What's this Knight of Pentacles? This person could regret, like... Being cautious towards you. This person. This person regrets being cautious towards you. And being slow with you. This person feels disappointed. That they ain't give you that energy. That you deserve. That ace of wands. This person didn't give you that energy. They could have been scared. To move forward with you. Somebody could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. A Cancer. They could have been scared to move forward with you and give you that type of energy. Now this person regret not giving you that energy. This person is up in their head. This person could be thinking about your body. This person wants your forgiveness. This person is holding on to you. But you could have learned a lesson about this person. You ended the cycle. You like, yeah, right. You like, I'm the ace of pentacles. Shoot, I'm abundant. You know, just within yourself, like. So you walked away. Because it was too much deception. You walked away. You like, please. Yeah, you this ace of cups. You like, please, you ain't finna play me. I'm the ace of, I'm the ace of cups, ace of pentacles. <laughs> I'm abundant. I'm loving. Please. You like, please. You like, please. What's going on? What's what's going on with this community? This person feel like they missing an opportunity with you, which is, I mean, it look like they is, cause you just sitting there like, fuck you. This the message. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, we got the fool. This person wants to take a leap of faith towards you. Maybe this person was foolish dealing with the community. Um, this person was foolish dealing with the community. Could have been listening to the community. But this person want to take a leap of faith towards you. This person could have Aries in HR. Could be an Aries. We got the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could want to take some sort of action here. This person is going against the instability that somebody tried to cause here. This person could have been listening to a King of Wands. And this person was juggling you. But this person found like happiness with you. Like this person want to renew something and heal something with you, but... You could be blocking them out. You just like, you really own your business. You don't want nothing superficial. No superficial victories. Nobody with hidden intentions. You ain't on that because your love is for real. Like you loyal. You ain't playing that. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Aquarius. You ain't on that. This person could have listened to an Aquarius, an Aries Leo Sagittarius on how to move. But this man feel like he want to take a leap of faith towards you. This man is in this King of Cups energy towards you. 
He could have, he could be a water sign. He could have them signs in his chart. He could be an Aries. But he want to take this leap of faith towards you. Maybe this man is going against, you know, how the community feel or whoever he was listening to. This person could want to be a fool for you. I need something else. This person could feel like a fool. Or the community could be looking at this person like that. This person could feel like a fool for ending something with you. I'm telling you, this person holding on. This person could feel like a fool for ending stuff with you. Feel like a fool from holding back from you. Yeah, this person want to make you some sort of offer. And they stressed out. Because they want to be in a partnership with you. But again, your energy is like... This is a secret. Your energy is like... Eh. Yeah, you just divine feminine. You could look at it as some sort of trap. Like you'll probably look at if this person try to, you know, offer you something, you you would look at it like, is this a trap? Because you feel like this person don't love you. You feel like this person hates you. You like, uh-uh, where the booby trap at? <laughs> where is the booby trap? Yeah, you following your intuition. What's the will of fortune? Love's attention change. What's the will of fortune? What's the will of fortune? What just ran across my mind is when y'all ever see that video with um, NBA young boy when he be like, my wife, my wife. <laughs> oh man, that's like, maybe this person look at you like they wife or something. Yeah, this person has changed. They don't want. They don't want all the attention. Well, shoot, they look. They looking at you like you love attention, and they don't want all the attention on you. You could be beautiful to them, or just confident. But this person is changing. They don't want to build with enemies anymore or liars or women because they beautiful. This person could have liked the attention from a lot of beautiful women and they don't want to build with that anymore. They could have been given to... You know, these type of women and these type of women could have been given to them, but it'll always be like some sort of ongoing battle. This person wants a new energy, new beginning, new love. They willing to work hard for it. Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. They don't want to give to these type of energies anymore. This person could have been given to, yeah, they, they sacrificing that. They walking away from the devil. Um, they don't want to give to them type of energies. They don't want to be bounded and oppressed and be bounded down to somebody just because of how they look or what they have. This person don't want to date them type of energies anymore. Knight of Cups in reverse. What's going on with, again, seeing some bullshit gifts? What's seeing some bullshit? 
gifts, seeing some bullshit gifts. This person stressed the hell out. We're seeing some bullshit gifts. The Seven of Swords was sticking out. Maybe this person felt like seeing some bullshit. You look at them like the enemy and they could feel like you lying on them and shit. <laughs> Where's my thing at? Uh, we might have to use this watch because where is I swore I, put, I brought it up here. So we might have to use this real quick. We might have to just use this watch. So this person feel like this person lying on them. They feel like you lying on them. <laughs> you viewed him as the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> they feel like you lying on them. You viewed him as the enemy. They could want to gift you. But whatever they be looking at, they be like, like they be seeing some bullshit. Like, like you viewed them as the enemy and don't want to deal with them and you lying on them. Yeah, they feel like you lying on them and some more stuff. For y'all that's like spiritually gifted, like you could do something and this person feel like, you know, you lying. Yeah, this person feel like you lying. You lying on them. They want an opportunity with you. They see you as peace, love, and joy. And they want to break through with you. And... And they like, they could want to gift you with love, but when they be looking at maybe whatever you do, or if you die, if you don't have spiritual gifts, they could look at like the love that you give or, you know, give or get from others. And they could just be looking at that like, oh, this is some bullshit. <laughs> but they just like, they see in bullshit. They just feel like. They feel like this some bullshit. Yeah. They feel like maybe this is why you're cautious. So say you don't have spiritual gifts. Say you listen to, you know, somebody with spiritual gifts. Because that could be a possibility too as well. They could be like, dang, this is why you... This is why you like stuck and don't want to work with me or why you're very cautious because of either what you say or do or what somebody else say or do. That's how they feel. They're like you lying on me, man. So, um. This person is, this person could even be manifesting to slow you down. Because, <laughs> but let's see, is you lying on this person? Like, um, is you lying on this person? No, you're not lying on this person. Is... You're not lying on this person. Is this person talking about this person? Oh, you might be talking about this person, but you ain't lying. <laughs> or if somebody watching a or if somebody watching a tarot video and you know something is being said, they ain't lying. Somebody gifted. Somebody is very enlightened. On hitting shit and people with hitting intention. 
Yeah, this 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 man hiding something. This man could be taking action with somebody else. And this man trying to hide it. This man taking action with an Aquarius. Did he be sleeping with? This a burden. This man could be a Cancer. This man could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is taking action with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Sagittarius, or a Virgo. And this person, it, it could be stressful and burdensome dealing with this person. But this is how this person relieves their stress and burdens. With the Ten of Wands, they be fucking whoever this, I mean, they be having sex with whoever this person is. And they be trying to hide that shit. They don't want you to see it, but that's what they be doing. That's what's causing the five of wands between you all even having a, a ten of cups with each other. This person dealing with somebody else. When this person gets stressed and burdened, this person go release themselves with that person. I'm telling you, they go balance themselves out with whoever the hell that is. They can have them signs in their chart that I name. And they think you can't see it. You ain't lying on this person. <laughs> you ain't lying on this person. They think you can't see the truth. The two of swords to the ace of swords. So if you saying something or if this person like to watch readings or whatever and they saying something, they ain't lying. This person be sleeping with somebody else every time they get stressed and backed up and need some relief. Every time they in the Ten of Wands, they go with the Knight of Wands and be a player and mess with confirmation. They go with their Knight of Wands energy, with their player energy, and they go and mess with and fondle with them people, them women. So it ain't no lie. This person just don't want you to see that because this person want to, you know, offer to you and deal with you. But this person offering and dealing with people that they shouldn't. So, you know, you just, yeah, you a bad girl. You just move on. You don't want that type of hardship or conflict in your life. You be running away. You like, whatever. I see why you like, fuck you. <laughs> Cause this person trying to play you for real. If you not intuitive, if you not like, like do what I do or something like that, or there's other ways of divination too. You could just be a woman who is connected to a higher power and you follow your intuition. You know what I'm saying? And this person trying to play you like you don't know what's going on. This is why this person ain't, this is why y'all not in alignment. This is why y'all not in alignment. It's this person's fault. And this person could be looking at you, blaming you, like, oh, they seeing some bullshit. Da, 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 da. No, no. This person be sleeping with. This is why you be running away, because this person a player. So you the queen of swords on this person. You had a lot to overcome from this individual and how they did you. You walk away from player energies. You walk away from people who try to move slow with you and who betray you. Ten of swords, you ain't on that. You look towards new opportunities. You, you're truthful and you're honest and you're loyal. You ain't on that. And this person, this person get walked away from because they a player. Tower. Tower. This person trying to have some control. This person don't want to see you with nobody else either. They fear seeing you with somebody else. It'll make them crazy. But because they look at you as they ten of pentacles, like they wife, they, you know. But it's like. Mm -mm. you could even be running away because this person could be dealing with somebody that do voodoo this woman that they be dealing with do voodoo 
this woman is maybe dealing with do voodoo. I'm looking at this black candle and um, it ain't a voodoo doll, but this person be dealing with people that be doing voodoo and stuff like that, sticking pins and needles. They do work and they be attacking shit. This this person's lovers that they be dealing with. So no wonder you be running away because they be dealing with people who do magic. Yeah, run away. And these is enemies. They be dealing with the enemy all the time. You ain't trying to be mixed up in that shit. I see why you be saying fuck this person and holding back your energy and be cautious. You're right to do that. You, you, you right. You see what the hell going on. Don't let this person make you think otherwise. You are very wise with this Ace of Swords. You are very wise. This person be dealing with the enemy and think you supposed to uh be involved in that. You ain't supposed to be involved in that shit. But this player want to commit though or work with you or whatever, but... Mm-mm. What's the page of wands? This person came up with the bright idea to hunt you. This person, you could even see this person in your dreams. <laughs> this motherfucker like Freddy Krueger, look. <laughs> the devil. This person is obsessed. Wait a minute. This person came up with the bright idea to mess in your dream state with the seven of cups. This person came up with the bright idea to hunt you somehow. This is obsession. You know what this person been doing too. You're aware. You know this person's secret. <laughs> this motherfucker magician too. <laughs> or this person feel like you hunting them in their dreams. But you ain't doing that. What's 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 right here? What's this uh fuck you? You elevating, you doing your thing. Somebody getting hunted in their dreams. What's this um, ice queen? Fuck you, elevation. Standing on your business. What was up? Oh yeah, the fuck you. Yeah, you working on whatever projects you've been working on. You could be learning. Growing, focusing on your abundance, your opportunities, gifts, if you if you have them. That's what you worried about. Protecting yourself. Getting rest. Yeah, you decided to block out the bull crap. You could have been, you could be blocking out romance too. Maybe you're not dealing with nobody from the past too. You could be blocking out the past, blocking out romance as in a whole, maybe because of what you had to deal with or what you had to experience. But don't block that out. I mean, you could do what you need to do for yourself for a while, but definitely. Yeah, you've been holding back your energy from everybody. Okay. So, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the horn honking, because, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, listen. You finna have a new beginning in romance. Don't block off too hard, because you got the Ten of Cups here. You got something good coming towards you after this betrayal and stuff from this, uh, 
Somebody could have got betrayed by a king of wands. Somebody got betrayed by a Leo, an Aries, or a Leo, or a Sag. Something about the truth. Something about a breakthrough. Don't block yourself off too hard. But you're going to have a new beginning and new some new energy coming your way, though. This person could be seeing that whoever they was looking to betrayed them. Horn hunt confirmation. Yeah, this person see whoever they was looking to was betraying them. What's going on with this illusion? This person made you believe a lie like they ain't, they really wasn't messing with you. With shallow fan obsession, stalking, groupie. Yeah, this person been manifesting something. Manifesting chaos. This man been manifesting chaos and probably even sending special uh, sexual energy towards you. This person been doing some sneaky stuff. So you could have been feeling heat and sexual energy coming from somebody. This person could have been trying to control something. Yeah, this person want to heal this betrayal. They want to heal this hurt, this pain, and this betrayal here. But bottom of the deck, um, two of pentacles. Yeah, this person could have been juggling you, could have hurt you. You could have regret dealing with this person and you put yourself back together again. Yeah, you surrendered whatever this is and you held back and you could have gave to yourself. And you had a breakthrough, some sort of transformation here when you ended things. The world sticking up. Yeah, you learned the lesson to whatever this is. But you not lying on nobody. <laughs> this. Or if you watching somebody, they ain't lying. This person could have a fear of missing out because of the choices that they made or a fear of missing out on an opportunity with you. Yeah, somebody caught up in their feelings. Yeah, the struggle is real. Somebody caught up in their feelings. This person could be disconnecting to regroup. You could be getting gassed up. You could be some type of influencer. Somebody in this bunch or somebody, either this person or somebody that they be dealing with wants you to get canceled. They be throwing shade and trolling you. Could be in your comments. But that's all right because you be on point and on fleet. Flawless and you humble. Somebody could want you to sugarcoat the truth.
Somebody could be boycotting you or want to get you boycotted. Somebody could feel like you disrespectful. They want to disrupt your flow. Somebody want to troll you. And maybe that'll get you to disconnect off of what you do. But you be getting supported, encouraged more than you get trolled. So that's not working. Yeah, that's not working. This person was hoping that by you being trolled, you would sit on the bench. Yeah, shaking my head, disappointment, stupid move. So somebody been trolling you. <laughs> but you've been slaying, doing an amazing job and glowing up. You can be a little bitchy. I don't blame you for being a little bitchy. You don't care. Because <laughs> look what the fuck. Look at all of that stuff you already had to deal with, right? On top of having people trying to troll you. This person is a stan, a stalker and a fan. And they didn't try to slut shame you. So do you swerve? Because you the vibe. You the vibe. You could be a millennial. You a young person. You, you know, you your own individual person. And you destroy traditions. You're very diverse and self-enterprising. And this person watching. This person watching you. You wasn't wrong for glowing up. You wasn't wrong for doing an amazing job. You ain't got to be sorry for that. You could be having people shook, surprised, can't believe, can't believe it. <laughs> Maybe this caught them off guard or, you know, this could have caught them off guard, got them shook. It's unsettled in which you, it's unsettled in which you have become. It's unsettling for them. I don't blame you for being like, for real, for real. Yo, fuck you attitude, honey. It do look like a gift. That's why it's wrapped up. <laughs> because it's what you need to have. Yeah, shook. You might be going viral or you might end up receiving a lucky break or you could have already done this. You may end up becoming famous. People could watch you around the world. Other people could be shook and shocked at what you say. You can reach people between Xers and millennials. People could like your point of view and your perspective on things. Somebody could try to finesse you too. This person feel like your hustle is stupid. But you woke. You wake other people up. And this person don't, you're blessed. Yeah, this person a hater. It's like, this person a hater though, at the same time. Just know luck is on your side. You is blessed. Keep doing whatever you doing. This person hate on you at the same time. They admire you and they don't really like you. <laughs> Cause that's what it's giving. Like they admire you, but they really like, you could get on this person's nerves. That's what it's like. Yeah, that's what it's giving. Like, maybe this person don't like that they, like, kind of fuck with you low key. Like, they kind of don't even like it. <laughs> they kind of don't even like it. They kind of don't even mess with it. This could be your sign, they sign. Possibly the people that they, you know, be relieving themselves with sign and don't want you to know about it. This person trying to finesse you. What's that song? Let me try to find a song real quick. Cause it's playing in my head, but I don't know if that's the title 
to it. I think it's by Drake. He'd be like, it takes. Yeah, it is. Listen to Drake finesse. Because what was playing in my head? It takes some finesse. That part. I seen you finesse. We got Libra. We got Taurus. Scorpio. Virgo. Gemini, Aries, Leo was sticking out, but didn't turn over, Capricorn, one more, Aquarius, honorable mention, Leo. So the signs that I name. Plus these signs are significant. You can have them signs in your chart. They can have them signs in a chart. It could be the signs of the people that these people was dealing with. Signs of people who be trolling. It takes some finesse. I see you finesse. Yep, the repeating signs. The signs that repeat, we got, we got Gemini again, we have Sag, we have Aquarius again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again, Sag again, Pisces, Aries again. Aries again. Aries again. Leo again. Pisces. Again. So those are the signs that have repeated. Could be of significance. Oh, we got Scorpio again. I missed that. <sighs> this person could even deal with people that like deal with other people. As well. Deal with other people that got somebody else. So. You ain't wrong about holding your energy back. This person trying to finesse. That's all. Look like a player to me. Look like a player to me. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. Continue to look to the divine for help so that you can see certain things, especially things that people try to block you from seeing. We got the faithful love of Yahweh never ends and his mercies never cease. Yahweh will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Yahshua the Messiah. 
Then we have here in him, my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song, I give thanks to him. Our lives are in Yahweh's hands and he keeps our feet from stumbling. So trust in the divine, always pray upon your decisions and what you decide to do. Blessed is the one who trusts in Yahshua and whose confidence is in him. So listen, trust in the divine before you trust in man. That's all I'm going to say. Cause man, looks get you every time, whether it's a, 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 a woman or a man, <laughs> but I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like share and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Peace.